What do you build me up? Buttercup, baby, just to let me down And mess me around in the worst of all What is going on guys? I am here to review a visit that EB and I had this past Saturday at Dwayne Park. And so anyways, let's just get into this review of the day. So anyways, when we when me and EB first got to Dwayne Park, which was at like 1.30, we headed to Coasters Drive-In for a good lunch. And sure enough, that was a good lunch. And anyways, we rode, after that, we rode Kaleidoscope and Belgium, both of which were really good. And it was a really good move for me to get back on those two rides. And EB2, obviously, because we both hadn't ridden these rides since August 24th. And so that was a nice move. And anyways, after that, we got a back row seat riding on Talon, which was really good. I don't know if you heard me say this back in 2018, but those fall rides in the back row of Talon are really good good you should go experience it like if you ever come to Dorney in the fall you should get a back row right in on town and those are really good during the fall and yeah so anyways after that goodness we headed to wave swinger to get a ride in on that and that was very good and so afterwards we rode meteor and hydra both of which were like really good and so anyways after meteor and hydra we attempted to ride Dominator Green, but they closed it while we were in line. So then we tried to go ride Demon Drop, but that was closed too. And so after those two epic fails, we did Thunderhawk. And it was an okay ride on it. I mean, it was like jerky and stuff. And so anyways, after Thunderhawk, we rode steel force and possessed both of which were very good and so anyways after those two rides we headed to monster jam and we were hoping we had our fingers crossed like this to get megalodon this time around but instead we got grave digger but we got in different seats compared to last visit so that's good because when you experience an attraction you gotta experience it in different rows to see what it's like and so anyways after we rode grave digger we rode monster and that was a sp really spinny ride on it and and in my opinion that was the spinniest ride we've ever had on monster and anyways after that we rode the whip which was really good and after that we rode demon drop it, because it was actually open by the time we got there this time which was really good and so that was a good ride on demon drop and so anyways after that eb and i decided to eat at chicken shack since we never really get to eat at chicken shack when we go to dorney and that's like one of my favorite restaurants at dorney and yeah so after our dinner at chicken shack we headed to enterprise to get a ride in on that before overlord's resurrection started and so anyways we got a ride in on enterprise and so after our ride on enterprise it officially kicks off haunt so uh, we watched overlord's resurrection and that was really good and so anyways after overlord's resurrection we headed to chamber of horrors and eb and i were just happy that this storm actually held off for a bit and so we went through chamber of horrors and that was really good and then after that we rode blood on the but i mean we went through <laughs> blood on the bayou oh my god and so anyways blood on the bayou was really good too and so after blood on the bayou it was dancing time I had a pretty fun time. If you didn't see me in the video, go check it out. But anyways, I had a fun time dancing. But get this, I only had 10 minutes at the dance party. Like, that's the shortest time I've ever had at a dance party. And, but, yeah, I'm grateful that I still got to dance at it because EB even knew how jealous I was of it last visit. And so, anyways, after that dance party, 
we headed to Dominator Green, and that's when it started really like lightning out. But the rain started while I was dancing. If you didn't see that in the video, I again I encourage you to check that dance video out after this video. But anyways, the rain started at that dance party, and then at Dominator Green is when it really started like lightning and stuff. And yeah, so then we rode Dominator Green, and after that, EB and I went through the liar, and right after we got out of the liar, and we were just strolling through the middle of Thunderhawk, uh, th because there's a pathway th through the middle of Thunderhawk, if you don't know that, and we were strolling on that pathway, and I started getting really thirsty, and so we had to go all the way to Chef's Grill to get a refill, and let me tell you, it was my first time seeing Monster Jam at night. It was, it looked pretty insane, actually. And yeah, so that's when the thunder really started getting loud and stuff. When we were waiting in line at Chef's Grill to get a refill. And anyways, after that refill, we were looking for things to do since they closed down everything because of the thunderstorm. And anyways, we tried to go through Necropolis, but that was also closed. And so we tried to get a ride in on Steel Force, but that was obviously closed. <laughs> so EB e e and I had no choice but to suck up the line for Trick or Treat because it was so long. And plus, it was raining and lightning out and stuff. So me and EB didn't have really anything to do since none of the rides, none of the rides were open. And while we were in line for Trick or Treat, we saw some crazy flashes of lightning. And my favorite flash of lightning that night was that one where it like almost looked like a spider. And that was a cool flash, <laughs> I might say. Oh my god, I just said that it was a really cool flash. Like, oh my god, that has to be the best flash of lightning I've ever seen. Oh my god, like... That flash looked so cool, you guys. And so, anyways, after that, we waited in line for Trick or Treat. And then, later, all the rides are, were, eventually start, were eventually starting to reopen because the lightning had stopped. And I saw they were starting to run the chain on Steel Force again. And I started getting all excited. And I even saw them... That saw them testing Steel Force, and I got really excited, and me and EB were getting happy towards the end there, and so anyways, after that, we went through Trick or Treat, which was really good, and after Trick or Treat, we, got, we took advantage of a front row night ride on Thunderhawk, which was so, so much smoother than the last ride we had on it, in my opinion, and it was really cool that we took advantage of that since there was no one at Haunt because it was rainy and you know rainy days make people want to leave. And so anyways, after that ride on Thunderhawk, EB and I ran into the Demon Baby and we heard about it last week but had never gotten to see it in person until this past Saturday. And he was pretty cool actually. And so anyways, after that encounter with the Demon Baby, we went through Corn Stalkers, which was really good. And then after Corn Stalkers, we went through Taurus Trap, which there was barely any anyone in line for. And there was this really funny guy and Taurus Trap that was just like, keep moving. And that was the best part of Taurus Trap that night, you guys. That was so funny. And so anyways, after Taurus Trap, we headed to the Ferris wheel to get a ride in on that since we hadn't ridden it in quite some time and that was a really good move for us. And so anyways, after the Ferris wheel, we were originally gonna ride Apollo, but then we, 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 and then we decided to get back to Monster Jam because I had never actually ridden a monster truck that night, at, at night before, and I finally got to do it this past Saturday. And so we went back to Monster Jam and we actually caught Megalodon, you guys. I don't know if you could tell this. Uh, I, I, actually, I shouldn't say I don't know if you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell because I had my, like, 
phone powered down, you know. And so, anyways, after... And so, anyways, we went back to Monster Jam. I was thrilled when the guy told us that we were gonna get Megalodon because that was our most anticipated truck, but we both sat in different rows, so... Yeah, but anyways, that was a good ride on Megalodon right there. And Megalodon is my favorite Monster Jam truck. You have to experience it if you ever go to Dorney Park for Monster Jam. And so, anyways, after Monster Jam, that basically ended off our night at Dorney. I mean, we attempted to ride Apollo, but then we kind of left because the the employee wasn't like really noticing us and so anyways that basically ended off our night at haunt so hope you enjoyed this review of the day and to sum this all up it was quite an interesting visit to haunt oh my gosh and so anyways reply to me your thoughts on this video and i will see you in the next